I think in true McKinsey fashion, right, um, we aspire to put together a set of facts that are rigorous and broad and comprehensive. And then we plan on using those facts to frame up in an economic context, the opportunity to do something different, right? That's better for black people, but to, that's better for society overall. And taking that sort of business case lens, as well as kind of the practical thinking about what it would take to do it, is what I think people walk away with. You know, as a black woman who spends her time every day solving problems, this matters a lot to me because this is a problem and a challenge that I honestly can say the things that my grandfather talked about, the things that my father talked about, and now the things that, you know, I'm talking about to my kids, right? You know, you just don't see a lot of progress. If we were to go in and analyze racial inequity gaps and where they were 30 years ago and where they are now, I think we'd all say, despite a lot of good effort, right, we haven't materially moved the needle. And so I hope that when people engage with the content from the Institute, you know, they're left with a compelling case of why an alternative is better that helps black people, and also what the path to getting to that alternative could look like. Because I think in that is what's gonna drive action and a more of a desire to move forward versus you know, an interesting set of facts you know, that alone you know, won't necessarily get us to move in the direction of progress.